Hey guys, it's Indianapolis Stars Notre Dame insider Lake and Littman here. Notre Dame just beat Miami of Ohio at home 52 to 17. And here are a couple things to take away from the game. First, running back Josh Adams, who was a little gimpy off of last week's Michigan State win, uh, ran for 159 yards on eight carries for two touchdowns all in the first quarter. Um, on his last carry, he got a little banged up. Uh, Brian Kelly decided to keep him out the rest of the game, but uh, nothing serious, he said, which kind of brings up our next point, a couple of injuries to address. One, Josh Adams, um, his ankle, not a problem. He'll be good to go next week. We talked to him after the game. He said he's perfectly fine. Another thing, Tony Jones Jr., another running back, he was in a, an interesting, well, a pretty bad helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit. Um, the paint, the gold paint on his helmet flew off, and Brian Kelly didn't want to address the targeting situation um, after the game because he didn't want to get into trouble. But uh, it looked pretty bad, but Tony Jones is supposed to be good to go for next week against North Carolina. Dexter Williams, another running back, was held out after um, a, pretty, a lot of carries last week against Michigan State. Uh, he is also expected to be good to go next week. The third thing to talk about, of course, as always, is quarterback Brandon Wimbush. Um, today his stats were 7 of 18, 119 yards for three touchdowns. Um, his longest was a 54-yard uh, pass to Miles Boykin for a touchdown. And, you know, he said he'll be the first to tell you, as always, every week, that he's got a lot to work on. He hasn't even touched the surface of his game. And Brian Kelly kind of mentioned or alluded to um, this is his apprenticeship, whatever that means. Um, this is, you know, every week he's learning and adding more things to his repertoire and um, just, you know, every week he's getting better and it's a long process, a long season, and we'll see how he is next week um, against North Carolina on the road before hitting the bye and then hosting USC at home. Um, as always, head to IndyStarsports.com for more coverage.